Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and I decided to shoot this extra video here just because I don't like the way ClickFunnels really has everything set up from your customer center to a course homepage to a module page to a whatever the hell it all is. And I just said, I want to go back to how 2. Point, I'm sorry, 1.0 looked where you got your left navigation, you got your right hand content, and of course, you know, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff from there like we always did in 1.0. But um, I just want to go there as a starting point because I think it's a lot better than what um, 2.0 is really out of the box. And so the very first thing I have to do before we get there is we want to go to our pages and we want to find our lesson theme page again. Actually, I probably have a standalone page here that I already copied. Courses, lesson, template page, demo test. That's the one that I just did in the last one where I messed everything up. But let's take a look at this one here where I didn't mess everything up. I took everything out and just left in that dynamic element. Well, actually, that's what this one is. Let's see what the demo test was here. Actually, they are both identical. So neither of those is going to do me any good. So let's go to our themes. Let's go to our lessons or lesson and hit enter. And we got our hero theme, courses, lesson, template, page. And this should be what we are looking for. And so let us clone this page and we will say proceed. And then as it cloned it, I need to reload so we can find it. Here we go, copy of it. And what I want to do now is let's just rename this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this our, um, let's see here, we got our sidebar template course lesson. Let's just change that so we're real clear here. Course lesson do that, update the page. Okay, so now we're going to have our sidebar template. Now let's go in here and let us take a look at this at the level of it still being a template. I've actually tried to adjust this when it was a row and it wasn't, or not a row as it uh, was actually a page and that wasn't working. You have to make sure you're in the template in order to be able to have the dynamic element here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to take a look at this navigation element. Now I already made the changes to it because I was shooting an earlier video and something got messed up and I lost my video. And so I will show you what I did in here. But what I wanted to do was, as I showed in the last video, when you click on home, I want that to go to the home page. Well then when you click on either one of these two courses is going to go to the course page for this one. And so I just came in here and grabbed the hold of the URLs for these two course pages. And then I came in and I dropped those both in here. So for our homepage, we had our custom URL that ended in customer center. And then for our course one, same thing, but this one was course demo nested courses. And I just named them course one, course here, two here just to make things simple. So we can discharge those changes. So now whenever you have in this universal element up here at the top, you're always going to have links back to the uh, customer center, the homepage, and then to each of the two individual courses. Now, where is there a problem with this? Where there's a problem with this is if somebody who came in here does not have access to both of those courses. Is there some way we could dynamically put that in or take it out? Yeah, there's a possibility that that could be done, but that would be for a much, much higher level and I'd have to really do some work and do some coding to be able to figure that out. So that's for another day. But what we're gonna do here now, so again, we are at the level of the lesson right here and we don't want this uh, breadcrumb anymore because again, the problem with the breadcrumb is it doesn't bring you all the way back to the course homepage. So we're going to take that out. We'll leave in the lesson title right here. The lesson body, as we already determined, doesn't even exist anymore. And then at this point here, we're going to take, uh, well, let's actually, let's just leave that video in there for now. Uh, what we're going to do now is, and the button, that's, that's fine. We'll leave the button in there. We're going to make a two column row. And then we're going to come down and we are going to go here to course, we're gonna put in our sidebar on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, let's just drag 
this uh, video element down here. Let's drag this text element down here. And let's drag the lesson title down on top of it as well. I'm not worried about getting things lined up and all purdy or anything. But one thing here you're going to see, we got module one and module two. There's one thing in here you want to make sure you leave checked as no. It says show only content from current main module. You don't want to click that to yes because then you see here, module one is our current module and we're only seeing that content. If you click no, you're going to see both of them. And then we got our everything else. You got our settings in here. But again, this isn't about how to do simple settings. And just remember each one here, whether you got your module or your lessons or whatever, you can obviously click on these purple things here and it opens up that or you just click on it overall. Oops, wrong one. Click on the gear right there and you can then enter uh, modules, sub modules and lessons right there. So now what we have is we have our left hand sidebar and then we have our lesson title and a video that we will put in there. Now in this case here, this would be a lesson video that's gonna go in there and then some text down here below this. Well, let's try one other thing. I wanna see if I can take this element and move it up into here. Doesn't look like I can. Let's try adding an element. And what I want is I'm looking for that dynamic slot element, the content element that we can put stuff in there. And it doesn't look um, like I'm gonna be able to do it. Let's go back up to the top. Let's just type in dynamic. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get there. Let's just type in the word content. Let's see if we find anything. Nope, doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that. So we can't use the dynamic content as a element on the page. So you could have it like this, and then uh, for this for um, for this lesson here, you could have your lesson video. So if you uploaded a lesson video, that would play here just fine. If you did the um, if you did the the navigation over here, this would work just fine. So we can save this as is as our new lesson template. So now let's go back out to our courses again, and we'll go here to the course and the success course. And we're just going to grab a hold of, let's go down here into the lesson two area. We're going to edit our settings. We are going to expand. We are going to grab a hold of our template. And we just called this our sidebar template right there. We will submit that. We will update the lessons. And now what we want to do is go and edit that lesson. And let's see if it takes us straight away into it or not. It actually did. But you see where um, a potential problem is, is we got our sidebar here laid out the way we wanted. It says we are in lesson 2-1, and then it will show the lesson video that we uploaded to ClickFunnels. And then you got some dynamic content down here. Well, maybe what you want to be able to do is to change out this video every single time when you come in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bounce back out of here and we are going to go back into that template that we were just in and we're going to completely change it. So the sidebar template right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out this video element and we are going to replace it with another regular video element. So we have that there. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to save this and we are going to call this our, oops, our side bar, sidebar section. Uh, does it have to be universal? I would probably say we would not want this. Yeah, we definitely would not want this to be universal because of the different lessons are going to definitely have a different uh, content here. I do believe, I don't think it should be universal, but uh, something you could play with. And so now this has been saved. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to delete this out of this template. So now we just have our header, our footer, and our dynamically replaced content in the middle there and we're going to save this. And so now we're gonna bounce out of here and we're gonna come down to our courses and our success path. And we're going to go to lesson 2-1 and we're gonna open this up and 
what we're going to find is it's totally empty. Well, let's open this up. We'll go to my assets and we call this our sidebar section and we're going to drop that in there. And now we have a video element right here that we can put anything we want into. So our modules over here on the left, our sidebar is showing up exactly how we want it. We can put any video content in here we want. And then when we save this, I don't have any thing open at the top that I could put in here for videos. So now when we save this and we say we want to preview this individual page, now here we go. And because I didn't put a video URL in there, it's not showing us anything, but now we would have our lesson here. And of course, as we go from lesson to lesson, again, the content's going to change because I only have this template on this single individual page. Now the thing is, is we also want to do exactly the same thing for our course home because we, but we don't want to do it with a dynamically replaced element. We want to just do it. Um, so let me, there's something funky here. So let's delete that out of there. Let's delete this out of here. And now we're going to say, let's add a section and we're going to say, let's grab our sections and we have our sidebar section again, right here. And so there's, there's something wrong with this page. This may not render properly, but you saw what it looked our, like already one time. And so then the sidebar section would be here. We come in, we can adjust our video. We can put in the lesson title up above here, which may or may not work out. Actually lesson title is not, we would not want that on this page here because this would not be a lesson. And again, we are in the course. So we would want here. So this is courses. Lesson. So either way, you have to change the verbiage on here and stuff, but you can use the exact same element, the exact same section that we saved for the lessons. You could drop that here into the course page and then we can save this and we may or may not see something on the next page or not here. So we have this, but we're not seeing the video again because I did not put a URL into that video. So there'd be nothing there to play. And again, if we click on the lessons, it'll take us to lesson two dash two, which was again on a totally different template. So that's how you can do it. So from here, we can go to our homepage from our homepage. Well, okay. If I had gone in to the customer center and I had updated the, um, the section that was in here, apparently it's using two different universal sections or something. Um, had we done that, then we would have been able to get to the right place. See, here's course one, and then we can go to course two as well. And course two is where we had put in this other, this alternative uh, homepage for the course homepage right there. So hope that wasn't too confusing and I hope that was helpful. So it's basically you create a section, you save that section, and then for the lessons, you pull that section into a dynamically replaced content area. And for the course homepage, you just pull it into the course homepage because in the case of a course homepage, there's only going to be one. Whereas in the lessons, you may use that template for um, dozens and dozens of different lessons. And so there you have to pull it in because that content is dynamically replaced for every single lesson that you have. So that is it. If you got any questions, just let me know.